Hi, my name is Shawful and welcome to my video about the world of data. Um, in this video, I'm going to cover uh, what's the difference between being a digital analyst and being a data analyst. Okay, so in my opinion, the digital analytics is actually a, a sub-discipline of data analytics, just like you have CRM analyst or a pricing analyst um, or a, a loyalty analyst, you know, digital analyst is just a sub-domain of data analytics. Um, but obviously, like every domain, it has its uh, um, nuances and you need to understand uh, the data about that domain. Now, if you are going to get into digital analytics, the thing that you need to know, whether you're um, starting from scratch or, you know, you're already a data analyst and you want to move into the space of digital analytics, you need to sort of understand two things or know about two things. The first thing that you should know about is how the data is collected. OK, so with digital analytics in, in the early days when it was collected, um, th there was a lot of differences between how tools reported on numbers, um, you know, simple things like a visit, a page view, a, a visitor or a browser or a user. They were all different. And what happened was over time um, with certain associations and sort of collaboration, they, they come to a standardization. So there's a standardized, standardized definition of a visitor, standardized definition of a, a visit, a standard definition of a page view, those kind of stuff. OK, so what happens is that when as the standardizations happen, you need to know how um, those metrics are measured and, and why they are what they are. So what makes a visit a visit? OK. Um, so you need to sort of understand and know about that. Um, and then, you, so well, once you understand how the data is um, standardized, you need to know how it's collected. So like I said, um, the, the, the data collected from your digital assets or your website, for example, is collected with the JavaScript code. Uh, typically, what would happen is you'd place a JavaScript code, it would then make a call to a server and send data back. With apps, it's slightly different. It's usually part of an SDK. Uh, and the way I like to uh, explain it to people, it's like a hook into the events of your app. So when your app has you know, swipe or um, press a button, then what you do is you hook into those actions in your app and it sends the events back to uh, your uh, digital analytics tool. And then obviously, finally, you need to understand the digital analytics tool. Now, the two most dominant tools in the marketplace at the moment are Adobe Analytics, which most corporates and enterprises use. And then there's Google Analytics, which actually quite a few companies now are using because there's obviously a, a free version and a paid for version. Um, so you should really get familiar with those two. There are other tools, um, other web analytics tools. So IBM, I think, I believe, bought Web Trends or, or Core Metrics. I can't remember which one, but they bought one of those. Um, and then there are different types of tools in the digital analytics space um, called user experience tools. So Hotjar being an example uh, of one of those tools. So, um, but it, it's not really considered a digital analytics tool because hot because those user experience tools really focus on you know how people are moving the mouse, how long they're spending on the page and stuff. Stuff that also digital analytics tool collect, but not to the depth that user experience tools collect. So like I said, focus on the two big tools, Adobe Analytics or digital or Google Analytics. Now, Adobe Analytics, like I said, is, is a paid for uh, product. And so unless you're in a corporate or a, a company that um, already has it, you're unlikely to get experience of it. Um, so therefore, focus on Google Analytics. Like I said, there's a free version and a paid version. You can easily just create a, an account on the free version um, and either tag up someone you know's website. So whether it's a local business that you're f uh, familiar with, try and get their website tagged up or or, you know a friend's uh, blog or something or if, if worst case worst case start up your own website on WordPress or Wix and put the code in and and then play around on the website and see how the data comes back okay and you get an idea for when you click on this when you move this when you do that how the data looks um, in, in the tool but more interested uh, more uh, inf um, uh, useful is understanding what kind of parameters and metrics are in those tools so that's where digital analytics is is you know, the, or the knowledge you need about digital analytics is quite different because it, it is a sub-discipline with its own uh, nuances and domain expertise, and you need to know that. So to get into that, you, you should always um, learn about how websites are tagged or how apps uh, are collect, how data is collected from apps. You have to know about that because if you don't know about that, if something goes wrong in your data, you need to be a troubleshooter. And if that's an, an area that you're not familiar with, then what you'll find is that you won't be a troubleshooter and then you won't know what's wrong with the data and sometimes you may even report incorrect data and then the second part is obviously knowing those tools um, it is very rare for someone to extract the tool out of those extra extract the data out of those tools and analyze it in like SQL or uh, Python or it's very or Excel very rare but you might take outputs from those tools so you might take a report put it in Excel transform it manipulate it create a graph out of it because you can't 
do it in Google Analytics or Adobe Analytics. But typically, you can do most things within those tools. And they're a bit, if you're used to a business intelligence tool or a reporting tool, you'll find they're very similar. You, you, you pull in um, uh, variables and you pull in metrics. Um, and, and, and you'll be able to um, see them in, in what well, digital analytics they call them dimensions and metrics. Um, but again, that, that's the nuances of those areas, that are the kind of domain expertise that you need to know about digital analytics. Um, so if you're thinking about going into digital analytics, either from data an analytics or from, a, from a, a new career, whether you're a graduate or you're changing from another role, then like I said, learn how the data is collected and then learn how to report on the tools. Now, the other thing that I have seen in my experience um, managing digital analytics team is that uh, there are two types of digital analysts. One who's more technical and the one who's more insight driven. Okay? So the technical one, what I find is that they understand how the tags um, are created, how they're put on the website and how they fire data. So they can troubleshoot. So if they see an error in the report, they're able to troubleshoot on the website or, or troubleshoot on the app to see why there's an error. Now, you know, some of them can do JavaScript, co JavaScript coding, some of them can't, but they understand how it works and therefore they're able to then work with a developer, especially a front-end developer, uh, in terms of troubleshooting and fixing that tag so it returns uh, the right data. Some um, um, and then they're also able to then do the reporting. So you get that technical element of it. Um, and then you have a second type who aren't very great at the tagging side of it. I mean, they, they know what's wrong and they can troubleshoot it uh, from a very superficial level, but they wouldn't be able to provide any solution. They can just say, look, I load this web page. I should see this event or this action happening on the reporting tool. I don't see it. Therefore, I think it's some problem here. And then the developer has to go and troubleshoot and come up with a solution. But those analysts are very good at the insight. So they are very good at explaining what the data means to the business um, and you know uh, how the business can make decisions on the back of that data or how they can progress forward on the back of uh, understanding what that data means. So you'll find that you'll either want to sit in one or both one or either of those camps. Okay, if you can do the whole spectrum, that's brilliant. And there are the the um, unicorn, I guess, analysts who can do the whole thing. Um, but typically, you'll find that you'll either gravitate towards the insight or to the technical. But the commonality you have between both is able to use the analytics tool. And you'll probably, um, which, whichever you are, technical or insight driven, be able to do a bit of the other uh, things, but very lightly or very superficially. So that's it, really. That's how um, you know digital analytics is a sub-discipline of data analytics and what you really need to know to get into that. Well, thank you for listening to my video. Um, please do comment below. And obviously, if you have any questions, please do ask them below. Um, please like the video and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.